Hey, how's it going? Uh, Cassandra Xavier here. I wanted to um, share some things. So I'm going to talk about your support screen. Um, I consider myself a special needs adult. I have several most, uh, mental health diagnoses. I've been writing about having bipolar disorder for, I want to say, maybe decades now. Um, and I also have PTSD. I also have an eating disorder, and I also have another diagnosis that I haven't sh shared yet, working my way up to that. So, um, I can't, it's not, that's not a pear tree, is it? Because as it is, I'm going pear picking. Um, so, anyway, I have a, a lot of support. I need a lot of support. I think most people need a lot of support. But special needs people especially need a lot of support. Um, I have therapy twice, uh, psychotherapy twice a week. I have um, a session twice a week. And then I have um, a psychiatrist that I meet with once a month. Uh, and I have a mind-body counselor that I meet with for an hour once a week. And I feel like when I have several peer counselors, my friends, that I have sessions with by video, whether it's to do accountability stuff, goal-making, one friend for that, and uh, two friends that are, well, one friend is really into law of attraction and soulmate attraction, and we also have mental health issues, and we encourage and support each other in living with our uh, diagnoses, uh, dealing with depression, and how to be productive when we're depressed, and uh, stuff like that. And then I have another person who is a friend, and we don't directly, we don't have like a tremendous amount of structure in our meetings, but I do need a certain amount of structure to be in any platonic relationship, and so that's what that is, it's a platonic friend, but because I have tremendous issues, and this person, we both have family stuff, and so we trigger each other, and so we often have to work on that and talk about that. So there's definitely uh, still structure, but that's part of my support team. Um, medication is part of my support team. Um, I feel like two of my family of uh, origin, probably more, but definitely both of my siblings are part of my support team and their extended families as well are part of my support team, and the person that I, one of the two people I live with <laughs> is part of my support team, um, uh, my dear friend, it's too nice I don't have the, uh, confidentiality agreements that I have with what the person, the, my, the main person I live with, actually I have both of them, uh, I'll be able to speak more freely about the nature of these friendships when I say dear friends, but my dear friend and I just celebrated uh, three years together as dear friends, <laughs> and so he is a tremendous uh, sort of support for, source of support for me, emotional support. Um, you guys, my audience, um, you know, who, who listen to me and uh, and enjoy my work, whether it's my music or my writing or my sharing on YouTube, you, you definitely are part of my support team. And um, my patrons who donate to whatever, whatever campaign, fundraising thing that I'm doing, uh, a huge... Here's part of my support team. 
So I guess I wanted to invite you to think about what your support team is. So what you support your support tree. What are the branches in your tree of support? And do you need some more? And are there some that maybe need to be trimmed? Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm very grateful for my support tree, my support team, all the support branches. And one thing that I'm also learning too is to become stronger and stronger in myself. So that basically I'm the one who is the most important branch of my support tree. So to strengthen the, the root that is me. So that's one thing I wanted to uh, share with you. Because that's been happening with me the last several days. I've been really in a kind of a crisis mode and just really just calling upon the angels and all the things that I do when I'm in crisis mode. I've resumed writing affirmations. And um, which is a great habit to happen. It's a great habit to have all the time. Even when things are really well. It's hard to keep doing affirmations when things are going smoothly and well. They come about when you need, when you need the help that they provide. So a few days ago, I just started really sensing that I am strengthening the root that is me. So I have this great support team, but I'm recognizing that I need to perhaps do some more growing using my oars more. Right? Perhaps I've been a little too weak in that and using that, letting other people row, you know, and I need to do some more rowing. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're making yourself a beautiful day and being kind to yourself because you are worthy of that and so much more. Thanks for listening.